Kims. Hello everyone, I am Jenny Axler and welcome to this next video in our Braille Sense 6 series. This one is going to be all about the camera, specifically the internal camera. We have done previous videos on using external cameras, but on this one, we're going to discover all the things that you can do with the built-in camera. And we are gonna feature the Braille Sense 6 Mini on this one because it's especially well suited to it. Because it is a bit of a smaller size and because the camera is located on the center of the the underside of the device. You can do this with the Braille Sense 632, but because it's a little offset and the device is a little bit larger, it's a little bit more awkward, I think. So I think the Braille Sense 6 Mini works a bit better with it, so we are going to use that. So let's get to it. So we'll start with the gold standard for OCR. We will use what is now called One Step Reader. For those of you who are familiar with KNFB Reader Mobile, this is the same app, they've just renamed it. So I'm at my main menu and I'll press A for all apps. 11,000 quotes, same status. And I'll press the letter O. One drive. And go down. One Step Reader. And there it is, I'll press enter. One Step Reader, unlimited version, One Step Reader, 99.99 or limited number of text recognitions with the one. And of course I'm using the trial, so I'm gonna press F4 to get out of this, I'm not going to. Button camera flashes, button take picture, take picture of the document and read the text, press enter to activate. Okay, so now I'm going to take a picture of this GoVision brochure. So I do need to raise the camera above it, of course, so I'm gonna try to center it a little bit. Of course, I'm never gonna do that perfectly, but neither will you probably. So we're going to take a picture. Take picture. Gupshin at a glance. GoVision is a 24 inch electronic magnifier designed for low vision users. It offers near, distance and self-viewing modes, enabling you to clearly expand your view of any button camera flashes on. Double tap to button, take picture, okay. take picture of the document and read And I just press 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 F4 to return to the take picture button. And it is that simple. It actually reads quite well. Of course, it's not absolutely perfect, but some of that is me and my ability to line it up perfectly as well. So this again takes a very nice little picture. It's pretty easy to center it uh, above the text again because of its small size and the centered camera. Another particularly popular app right now is Envision AI. And of course, it's been made especially popular because of the Envision glasses, but it also works really well on your phone and again, is very well suited to the Braille Sense 6 Mini. So again, I'll press A for all apps. 11,000 quotes, saying status. And I'll press E. Easy reader, edge, Envision AI. And press enter. Envision AI button magnifier, press enter to activate. So we have several options here. There are a lot of things that you can do with this app. So there's a magnifier. Button flashlight, off, press enter to there's activate. There's a flashlight and I'm just pressing F3 to move through these options. Button read preferences, press enter to activate. Can set read preferences. Button instant text, speaks out text instantly. Press enter to activate. Now I have tried this and I can't say that I've had great luck with it, but you can try the instant text feature. It probably depends on what it is that you're trying to read, how well this works. Button scan text. Capture a document in a single or batch scan. Press enter to activate. And I can scan text. And so again, let's see how it compares to a uh, one-step reader. So I'll press enter. Single scan. Capture a single page no or document. No edges visible. No so edges you have visible. options for single scan and batch scanning. No edges I'm visible. actually gonna do a single scan. So let me again no edges raise visible. it up and I'll press enter. Processing. Button navigate up, press enter to activate. Go vision at a glance. Go vision is a 24 inch electronic magnifier designed for low vision users. It offers near, distance and self, viewing modes, enabling you to clearly expand your view of any object you want to see. Single scan. Capture no a single page or document. Wow, it's actually almost better. No edges visible. <laughs> so now I'm back to the main dialogue and we have a few more options here. Identify. One. Button find, press enter to activate. Button glasses, press enter to activate. Button settings, press enter to activate. Button describe scene. Captures a photo and describes the scene in front of so you. So I'm Out actually going to try to this one. I'll try to take a picture of Stella holding a laptop and let's see how this works. Okay, I'll press enter now. Describe scene. Captures a photo and describes just the scene in front picture. of you. Looks like a laptop on a table. Well, it looks like a laptop on a table. Apparently it didn't pick up Stella, just her laptop. <laughs> but either way, this will describe the scene around you or whatever is in front of the camera. Well, I couldn't do a video like this without showing Google Lookout. Now, Google Lookout is somewhat hit or miss, but it is absolutely free. And of course, given that it's using Google AI, it is going to keep learning and improving. And it does do some things pretty well. So let's take a look. I'll go to my all apps again. 11,000 quotes saying status. And I'm gonna go back. Mailwise, Lookout. And there's Lookout, so I'll press enter. 
button signed in as Jennifer A. Low light. Flashlight on. So I do have my camera sitting on the table. Now I have several options here. Button change language. Button help press enter to app button turn camera off press enter button recents press enter button explore beta in list five items zero. So explore is just going to let you look around. Um, it's a little bit different than the described scene in Envision AI in that it's real time exploration. Button food labels beta press enter to activate. One. We have food labels, which is actually a barcode scanner. Button text press enter to activate. Two. So this again is real time text recognition. Button documents press enter to activate. Three. This is going to let you take a picture of a document, so it's a scan function. Button currency press enter to activate. Four. And it will also identify currency. Currently, it only supports dollars, euros, and Indian rupees, but it will work. However, we're not going to try that today because I actually don't have any American currency. Okay, so let's try food labels. Button food labels. Beta. In list five items press enter to activate. One. Now, it does say that this is a beta. It's a barcode scanner, and the first time that you press enter on this, it will ask you to download the data for your country. I've already done that. So I'm going to press enter here, and then I'm going to try a couple of food items. Food, flashlight food labels. No product in view. Just a moment. Tea India Instant Chai Tea Latte Cinnamonettes. And it is, in fact, that. Okay, we'll no try another one. No product in view. No product in view. There is. Just give it a second. No product in view. Buff Bake Fuel Bar Plus MCT Keto Friendly Plant Based Non Dairy Vegan of Protein 1G Sugar 4G Net Carbs Gluten Free Peanut Butter. And that is what it is. No product in view. Now it says food. No labels, product in view. But you can do anything with a barcode. No so product let's in view. Try something. Garnier else. Whole Blends Five in One Refreshing Lightweight Spray Five Fluid Ounces Bottle. Okay, so it will also do something like that. So I actually had to get out of that, or she was going to keep yakking at me and telling me that there was no product in view. But yes, you can actually scan anything with a barcode, and it should give you the product information. If it says no product recognized, it might actually ask you to rotate it because you don't always know for sure where the barcode is located on a given box or package. But generally, this does pretty well. I'm going to go back into it, and I'm going to choose Explore. So remember, I showed you that. That it had a text option. Interestingly enough, the explore option actually works better for doing instant text. So we're going to try that to identify a couple of other items. So again, I'm going to open the app. Button signed in as Jennifer. Pop. Light. Flashlight on. And again, it's no giving product me in view. all kinds of information. So I'm going to press E. No Button product explore. in view. And in press explore. Enter here. Flashlight off. Okay. So now I'm going to try another box. This is a Korean. It's an English product, but it's actually sold in Korea. So text, KF94. Text, protect, text, protect. So it's actually text, KF94. P-R-O-T-E-C. It's KF94 masks, and at least I could identify what it was. Even though it didn't read absolutely everything, it read me enough that I knew. You could also use this to maybe identify a printed book. So we'll try that. Tableware. Text. Stuti History Arc Duke 4. Picture frame with text. World History Stuli Were. Picture <laughs> frame with text. World History Worla Study Workbook 4. Text. So, Great. Text. Great. It's not perfect, but it again is enough that I can tell that it's a world history book. Flashlight so off. again, if you're just wanting to Low identify something on. in a pinch, this is probably going to do it for you. Um, and as I just showed you, it will do currency. You can scan a document. It will do various things. And once again, it's free. So if you're looking to do something in a pinch, you just need to be able to identify something. It's probably going to give you enough information to do that. So there are several apps that do things like this, and you're going to get varying degrees of success uh, just depending on the lighting conditions, how well you're lined up, which app you're using. Some of them do things better than others. I have one last thing that I want to show you. Um, this is not something that you can find on the Play Store. I actually had to go to APK Pure to get it. It is a light detector. We actually had someone ask us about this if we would create one. But I got to tell you, I don't think that we could create one better than this app that I'm about to show you. So again, I'm going to go to all apps. 11,000 quotes, saying status. I'm going to press the letter F. Facebook. Feedly. 
file manager, files by Google, free motion change. This is actually what it's called. It's called the free motion light detector for Android. And again, you can find this on APK Pure. I'm going to press enter here. Button change detector, press enter to activate. So there are different detectors. We're going to go to button light explorer, press enter to activate light explorer. Switch off the vibrator, press enter to toggle. Okay, and just one moment. Switch on beep, press enter to toggle. Off. So that I can actually talk over it, I'm going to switch this off. So you have a vibration option, you have a beep option. Switch off speech, press enter to toggle. And you have a speech option. Switch off high sensitivity, press enter to toggle. You can also adjust the sensitivity. Switch off exposure lock, press enter to toggle. Switch off quick update, press enter to toggle. Radio button not checked, maximum light intensity, not checked, press enter to toggle. Radio button check average light intensity. Radio button not check central light intensity. Radio button check low beep volume. Checked press. Radio button not check normal beep volume. Not checked press enter to toggle. And again, I'm just going through the various options here so that you can see what you can do. Radio button not light explorer. Zero two. Switch off vibrator press enter to toggle. Switch off beep press enter to toggle. Now I'm going to turn this back on because I think this is one of the best indicators there is. So I'm going to press enter. And it's giving me a low beep sound because right now the camera is sitting on a piece of paper so it's getting no light. I'm going to lift it up. <laughs> All of a sudden we have a huge amount. So as I move it around and the light intensity changes, you can hear that in the pitch of the audible beep. And again, I need to switch this off. Off. I can also switch off speech, press enter to toggle. Turn on speech. On. Two. 137. 74. 65. 57. 1. Off. And you can get updates via speech, via a numeric value, which I believe is uh, some kind of percentage. I don't know exactly uh, what it measures, but at least you can identify the amount of intensity according to that number in the same way that you can the audible beep. So let's check out the vibration option. Switch off the press and switch off the vibrator, press enter to toggle. And On. we'll do that. So it's giving longer and shorter vibrations based on the intensity of the light at this point. Okay, again, I'll turn that off. off. So you can use any combination of those feedback options, or you can use them singularly as I just demonstrated. So this is a really, really accessible, simple, yet sort of diverse app for detecting light. And you might wanna use this in a situation, for example, if you're trying to reset a wireless router, there is usually not any way to tell when the router is turned on. You don't necessarily know how long it takes to boot up. And one way to deal with that is to actually identify the light source. And you would be able to identify when it increases intensity by holding it over the router and doing something like that. That's generally what I do use this for, actually. But I suppose there are other things that it could be useful for as well. But for the most part, I think most of us use something like this for identifying uh, electronic devices when they're on and off, when there is no other indicator, no vibration, no speech, no audible indicator. So as you can see, there are many apps and use cases for the internal camera and many things that assist us in identifying objects, colors, currency, text, documents, all kinds of various things. And of course, as we just showed, even light intensity. In a video some time ago, we talked about mainstream video creation. This one, again, we're focusing on how you can use the camera to assist us in things that we cannot see. Either way, you are only limited by the creativity of people creating applications for Android. For more information about any of our HIMSS products, you can visit our website at www.himsintl.com or send us an email at hymns at Thanks for watching.